Okay, so if you want to cast your own chart, here's what you, on astro.com, here's what you want to do. You want to log in. You have to have an account. It's free. So set up an account. If you don't have one, go to My Astro over here. Go down here, Add New Astro Data. So I'm going to do the Cancer New Moon. And we'll just call it female for the hex of it. So that's Friday, June 23rd, 2017. And I'm going to find the hour in my Jim Maynard um, Celestial Guide or Pocket Astrologer. So the hour is 10.31 p.m. Astro.com uses um, European time. So that would be 22.31, and I'm going to do USA, New York, New York, hit continue, and now I've got my chart here. So what I'm going to do now is you click on that. This will actually take you to horoscopes for your chart. So don't read those till after you've written your own horoscope. If you scroll down to the horoscope chart drawing section, chart drawing ascendant, click on that. And there's your chart. Okay. So we're going to go back to the My Astro user profile overview page, which is what comes up when you click on My Astro. And we're going to go to View, Edit, Preferences, and Subscriptions. We're going to go down to the second uh, option, Standard Drawing, Astrodine Setting, Edit This. And we are going to change the house system from default to whole signs. Click here to show the chart. And there you have it. So unfortunately, we're, we can't, um, Astrodeans does not seem to give us an option to put um, the sun sign cancer over on the first house cusp, but it does give us equal houses. So, you know, you can you can print the chart out and then just flip it. So cancer is on the first house, if that's easier for you. Um, you are eventually going to want your own astrology program, so you can make it easier to do this. But basically, you know, if you're using, um, so say you're a Taurus, this is equal houses, so whole sign houses. So Taurus is actually going to be your first house. Cancer is going to be your third house. And um, so the, this new moon would be in your third house. If you're a Scorpio, you know, you can count your way around. That would be your cancer will be your ninth house. That's where the new moon is. So that shows you at least how to get the whole signs in astro.com. Okay. And if you don't like the way the wheel looks here, you can go back to the chart selection. And is that what we want? chart drawing style, web default style. So you can mess around with these and um, see which one works better for you. I kind of like Astrodine style. And then you can also change your aspects. So I would just choose major aspects just to um, make things easier for you. So down in the aspects, just click on major aspects, um, pick a wheel style that you like, and... There you go. You got whole sign houses. I like the way this looks a little bit better. So you got your major aspects and don't forget your handy dandy aspect grid down here. So this shows you all the aspects that the sun is making, all the aspects that the moon is making Mercury. So if we go down here, Mercury, that's a conjunction sign. Mercury is conjunct. What Mercury's conjunct Mars. It looks like. Um, let's double check that. Oh, yep. There they are. 
And um, how about Venus? Venus is sextile Mars. Venus sextile Mars. Not the easiest thing to read, but there it is. There's that sextile. Boom. You can follow the lines, too. So, yeah. All right. Hope that's helpful.